Star Wars Paladin here with another Void Star. Playing on Extremis with Centos and Centos and um, Zedek. Sorry, my, my memory's like really bad when it comes to names. Cintas asked me a funny question. He said, you're staying up late. Are you from Texas? And I think that was a really funny... funny question. I think a lot of you, if you... probably if you listen really close, and if you're already from here, you'd know about where I'm from. Plus, some of you probably already know me, actually, now that I think about it. Getting tossed around like a frickin' ragdoll. Wow, that was... that was ridiculous. Oh, and I missed the door. Still, I'm... I moved a couple more... I'm moving a couple more videos. It's gonna take about four minutes. Maybe that'll be in time to lose this void star so I can actually be on the attacking side. That'd be nice. Oh yeah, they already got the bomb down. That's cool. Doop, doop, doop. That was the side I was trying to cover too. That didn't feel like 20 seconds. I <laughs> tell you what. Did not feel like 20 seconds. They need to trim that down so it tells you. Oh crap, it's gingerbread man. That guy is really good. Anyway, it's just funny. Centos, he said. You from Texas? Cause you stayed up. You're staying up really late. And I really know. I really want to know what he means. I wonder if he's thinking that Texas is in like a Western time zone. Cause if I was in Texas, it'd be like freaking 4 a.m. right now. Oh, people are already leaving. <laughs> oh, I got the freaking hiccups. It never fails. People leaving. Left three pumps. Okay. Trying to punt me off. You can't punt me off that easy. They're already on the door. They're trying to zerg the door, is basically what they're doing. Um, that doesn't work very well. If we can stack AoEs. You only end up with a lot of dead group mates. And uh, with the saber throw, it's uh, just nice. You just have to get it kind of in the general area. Plus, I have sweeping slash. Crap. One of the tricks I do is I make sure I keep them targeted. That way, when I hop down, I can just get them. Oh, crap.
He is spamming his little heart out. Come on, you guys. Crap. I didn't live as long as I wanted. Now they're gonna get that door. There's no way I'm gonna get there in time. Shoot. The left ring pops faster. What does he, what does he mean by left ring pops faster? I wonder if he means the door. Something. Where the hell am I? It's even slower than I thought, and the thing is I'm not even moving files. I actually finished moving files probably about a minute ago. Oh crap. Shield open. Last doors are okay. I don't know, I hope, I hope you guys will be as interested in me playing when I play more closer t to my roleplay, uh, how Extremis is supposed to be played, and I hope you guys will, um, be as interested, oh crap, I don't think they'll be able to get it. I don't think that's enough time. Well, it's enough time for them to get the door down. But it's not enough time for them to get the... Uh, you don't want them to get the door down because they get points for that. Yeah. Shoot, they might be able to. Nope. Not enough time. But still, they get, they get points for getting that door down. Um, I just couldn't get over there fast enough. I didn't realize they were having such a big problem. This has Darth Ma. Um, yeah. Plus, I don't even know if you guys really like watching me play Extremist that much. I just know because you guys are being so... Uh, some of you are being so critical. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep working on them, but I don't think it's going to be in a way that you guys like. Okay, to the right, all left. Shoot. I didn't get to... Wow. Huge ass lag. Centos had a tactic he was trying to explain where he pulled the mobs out. I mean, where he pulled the players out. So somebody could get the door. I confess that I don't really know what he was talking about. And it makes me feel bad because it sounds like something that I, sh I should know. Is he not targeted or am I lagging or what? Guess I'm dead. Is he 
he's trying to pull. I don't know. I'm just gonna stay back here because I don't understand. I don't understand his strategy. Whoops. I'm gonna be taking that off my bar. I mean, I can't argue with the results, though, but, you know, I would have rather hit him with my obf obfuscate, but there's no way I can remember to do that. I could almost make more sense of that being an RP thing that I do, obfuscate, maybe like kind of like clouding their vision, so to speak. Oh jeez, a little freaking clan came over here. Yeah, and I enjoy I enjoy playing Armitage a lot more also, because Armitage, believe it or not, is actually way more uh, durable than Extremis is, and he has a lot more tricks up his sleeve, and the tricks just feel they feel better. Like when I'm playing a fighting game, like Street Fighter, because I'm a big Street Fighter fan. Like I have to play like the perfect character for me for there to really be a synergy. And there's not really a synergy with the way I'm playing Extremis this way because it just doesn't it just doesn't flow. I've got some melee moves, and then I've got some force moves and some survival moves, and they don't gel. They don't gel together. The fact that he has screaming moves <laughs> and force camouflage is just goofy to me. And the fact that he has all these different blade wards and undying rage and all that. I would, if I was designing this character. I would just make it an all-in-one to where it just procced and managed automatically so I could focus on my sword play, if you want to call it that. Because when you're watching, I don't know, again, when you're watching Star Wars, 
you don't see him go, oh, I'm going to force camouflage now. Oh, I'm going to yell at them. I'm going to yell at them a, in a different way. <laughs> they don't do that. If they don't do that, that would be silly. They either stay, they're like either offensive or they're defensive. And maybe they'll occasionally try to throw something to put up the person off balance. Or if they have lightning, maybe they'll switch to lightning. Other than that, they're just doing different offensive and defensive things with their sabers. Everything else just feels like a tacked on mess. And that's how I feel about it. Just like when I'm playing Armitage, anything that's not shooting and his defensive moves just feel like a tacked on mess. And that's what I want to focus on. I want to focus on what works well and what feels harmonious and syner synergetic. Anyway, I hope that makes sense. It makes sense to me. I hope it makes sense to you. Alright, I'm going to shut this one off, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.